Hi, Bert. Hi, Ernie. What are you doing? Oh, I'm trying to make a database for Cookie Monster. I just can't get this query to work. Oh, why don't we go and watch Mr. Brett on YouTube? So it seems that Bert has got confused between the SQL commands limit and top. While they essentially do the same thing, top is a SQL Server specific command. Whereas limit is only found in MySQL, MariaDB and PostgreSQL. So here's a couple of queries that use select top. They both select the top 10 products from the Northwind products table. So you can write select top 10 star if you want the top 10 products and you want all of the columns returned. Or you can use a query where you just name the specific columns. So here we just have product ID, product name and unit price returned. You can also change this number here. So here's how we return the top 5 products. Note with the top command it only returns the top results from the query. If you want to order the results by a particular column then you can use order by. Now let's look at the limit SQL command. So the limit command only works in MySQL and related databases. To find the top 10 records in a particular table we can use this query. So we select star from the table name. I've put in an order by clause so that we find the records with the most number of views. And then we use limit. There are two numbers with limit. The first one is the first record number and starts at zero for the first record in the table. The following number is the number of records we want returned. So here we will get 10 results. So there are 10 results here. And we'll edit the query again. This time we get five results. The great thing about top and limit is that really useful if you're working with very large databases. So in SQL Server, Microsoft actually encourages us to use select top. If you right click on a table name, and you can see that we can select the top 1000 rows, or we can edit the top 200 rows. This reduces load on the server and increases the performance. This is really useful, particularly if we're using a remote database. Whenever you're writing a SQL query, you should really only return the rows and indeed the columns that you actually want to use. Another very useful feature of the limit command is that you can use it to page your records. Here are three related queries. They return 15 records in total, but there are three pages of results. So the first query returns the first five records. The second query returns the next five records. And this query returns the final five records. So as such, you can use limit to page your records. This is really useful if you're writing a search facility or you're making a product catalog. This is of course very similar to how Google works and they also page their results. So if SQL Server lacks a limit command, how do we do paging of results in SQL Server? So here's a database for my find a channel website. How could we page these results? We can page the results by using the offset command. So this query returns the first five rows from the table when it's ordered by views in descending order. So offset is the same as the first argument from the limits command. To return the first row, you just put in zero here. And to specify the number of rows, it's the second number here. Like the limit commands, this is quite easy, although it's harder to remember the syntax. So to return the second page of five results, we just start at five and return the next five. Here's a quick trick you can do with limit. If you set the limit to 0, 1 and order by rand, then you'll return a random row from the database table each time you run it. Here we get book club, run it again, water pump, and sports news. So use this if you want a random row from a MySQL database. We can do a very similar thing in SQL Server using top. Here are a couple of queries for returning a random row from a SQL Server database table. Just check that this one works. So every time I run it, we get a random niche. This one does the same. So this one is less random, but it's said to be a lot faster. So if you have very large amount of data and you want a random row, then use this one. This one is truly random. However, using it is quite resource intensive, especially on a table with a lot of data in it. Hey Bert, you nearly finished building your database. Yeah, why? Well, we should probably leave the Millennium Falcon before Chewbacca sees us. Ah!